Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so in today's video, today's video, I wanted to make this specific video because I have seen other people make these type of videos and I have to agree and disagree with some of the ratings so what i want to do today is i want to rate every single k ali perfume because i do have every single one of them right in front of me and i want to rate them from my least favorite to my most favorite my most obsession perfumes i guess you can say the ones that i use the least and the ones that i use the most because quite frankly i really 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 like the k ali perfumes about I want to say 95% of their perfumes I am obsessed with, with the exception of maybe one or two. So that's what I want to do. I want to talk to you guys about my least favorite one and my most favorite one, my most used perfume. And just give you a little bit of a rundown, a little bit of thoughts and opinions and just gossip about this specific fragrance line. All right, so we're going to start off with my least favorite perfume. This is one of those perfumes that I just never really got into. And I am talking about citrus. You guys, this perfume, it is a nice, fresh... I want to say bitter orange citrusy type of perfume but it's just not my cup of tea when it comes down to perfumes i do i am getting into fresh citrusy perfumes but for some reason this citrusy perfume it is just not my cup of tea i it's not a bad sense don't get me wrong it's not a bad sense but uh, there's something about this perfume that i just don't like i don't know if it's maybe the oak moss or the rose note in this perfume i don't know it is a nice scent like i said don't get me wrong it is a nice scent but it's just not my cup of tea if i'm looking for a citrus perfume i don't think this is something that i would pick up and i actually got the travel size because i did get the collection of one when they first released this collection and when i first was getting into the kaoli perfumes and their dna i did buy this because this is definitely a good try out travel size in case you've never tried the k ali line i think this set is perfect to pick your fragrance from this line but yeah my least least favorite perfume from k ali is gonna have to be the citrus one i don't think i'll ever buy a regular size bottle or a one point i mean i still have the travel size and i barely used it so yeah this is going to be my least favorite one from kaoli and this one is citrus 08 all right moving on to the next one so the next one that i have here again you guys it is not my cup of tea i was never i never really got into this perfume there's something about this perfume that i just don't like it's not a bad scent but it's just uh, i don't know i there's something that i just don't like about this perfume and i am talking about invite only amber 23 beautiful beautiful bottle i remember reviewing this perfume and i have to say i do use this perfume even though it is not my favorite one i use this perfume to spray maybe one time but i like layering this perfume with any other kaoli perfume maybe like the vanilla or musk but this is a really really heavy to me to my nose it's like a very very heavy syrupy uh medicine type of perfume and it's just oh, i don't know it's it's an okay sense like i like it but then i don't like it i don't know what it is it's like a love and hate relationship with this perfume but it's not a bad sense but i can't think of any occasion that i would wear this to and i just never really got into this sense i tried loving it because i am very open-minded with different perfumes but for some reason this is one of those perfumes that i just don't reach for as much or as often and it's literally all the way up to right here you guys it's literally like up to there and i mean i have reached for this perfume i have worn this perfume a couple of times maybe like two or three times but this is not a perfume that i would look at and be like i need to over spray this perfume because i love it i don't love it i don't hate it it's just an okay sense i guess you can say this is definitely a middle eastern type of perfume so if you are into those type of scents like a very heavy spicy very heavy amber very heavy honey perfume this one is going to be for you unfortunately 
it has not grown on me but i will continue to try it out i will continue to layer this perfume with any other ones but um yeah i don't hate it it's just not my favorite and again this one is invite only amber 23 all right so moving on to the next one so from this one and on i really really like all of these perfumes you guys it was really really hard for me to try to narrow it down to like okay which ones don't i not use and use a lot so starting from here and on i love these scents honestly i really really like these scents i just don't use them as much as the ones that i use like my number ones so yeah moving on to the next one so this one i don't use as much because i don't have any occasions that i would wear it to but i do like the scent and this one is love fest burning cherry 48 so when this one came out i was really really intrigued because this was promoted like a carnival festival type of perfume it's gonna remind you of like a carnival like a festival not a carnival but like a festival so yeah i was very very intrigued with this perfume and when i tried it i have to say it wasn't an automatic whoa i'm obsessed with this perfume but it was like okay this is a really really nice definitely a nice burning cherry type of perfume i know a lot of people were comparing this one to tom Ford's lost cherry honestly i don't know what that one smells like so i can't tell you yes it's like that but this is definitely a smoky burning wood cherry type of perfume i like this i think i would probably use this on a date night in summertime or maybe like a transition type of weather it is a really really nice i do smell the cherry notes but i also do smell like something burning like a wood or something smoky but it smells really really good it does smell sweet i can kind of still smell a little bit of like a honey note in here i don't know but it's a really really nice cherry smoky type of perfume just like the just like the name says burning cherry it is a burning cherry like i don't know how they were managed to do that but i do get something like a burning wood smoke cherry something sweet like sweet vanilla I don't know this is a really really good one i don't reach for this one as much only because like i said i don't know any occasions for me to wear this perfume but when i do go out to like the movies i might spray this one and layer it with my other favorite ones so yeah this is number nine on my list and this one's love fest burning cherry 48 all right moving on to the next one and at number eight we have vanilla royale sugar patchouli 64 so this perfume right here i do like and i do enjoy very much but again, it's one of those scents that you have to wear it in a special occasion. This is not a perfume that you would wear every single day because it is a very strong, intoxicating perfume. Such a beautiful, beautiful bottle. When I first saw the promotional pictures for this, I knew that I had to get because this is just a beautiful, beautiful bottle. And the scents, oh, you guys, <laughs> this is this is a beast mode. I really like how this perfume projects the projection on this perfume is really really good it's beast mode you'll get about six maybe eight hours depending on how much you spray and this is a compliment getter definitely highly recommend you guys getting this one if it's still available i think it is but yeah you guys this is a nice sweet brown sugar vanilla definitely a middle eastern type of perfume definitely spicy but not like ambery spicy more like patchouli spicy but this one is more like a sugar like something sweet but something dark sweet like melted caramel melted sugar you know melted sugar turns into caramel so that's the vibe that i'm getting out of this one and i really really like this one this is for sure a winter type of perfume and i love it every time i wear this perfume i get compliments this is definitely a compliment getter and I would highly recommend this one. So at number seven, I have Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. All right, and moving on to the next one. And at number seven, we have Eden Juicy Apple 01. Now, you guys, let me tell you a quick story. When I first bought this perfume, I really, really enjoyed it. I took it to my friend's house the very next day. I left it on top of the table. And unfortunately, her furry baby bumped into the table. The perfume fell and it broke. That's why it has a big hole on the bottom. <laughs> i was so devastated i was like no i just bought this perfume it was like a hundred and something dollars and i wasn't i haven't been able to get another bottle but i do remember loving 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 this scent this is a beautiful ah oh, this is a oh, i just love how it smells so this one to me 
it is a juicy apple. It's definitely refreshing. It's definitely aquatic, but it's also very sweet. You can smell the apple. It's like the natural sugars of a red apple. That's what I'm getting a lot. Like when you're biting an apple and you can taste that sweetness, yet juiciness, freshness of an apple, that's what this one is. Definitely a compliment getter as well. And I really, really like this perfume. It's so, 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 so good. So if you are into fruity perfumes, juicy perfumes, sweet yet aquatic perfumes, which is what I'm getting, get this one. I wasn't able to test this one out for a long time, so I don't know how long this one projects but when i did wear it for the first time i did get a compliment so i know that this one does get give you compliments uh and yeah i really really like this one i can't wait to get a fresh bottle because this is the only one that i don't have anymore because that happened uh but yeah as soon as i'm able to get my hands on another one i will All right so moving on to number six and at number six i have elixir 11 you guys this perfume whoa this is a beautiful, this is an elegant, sexy, yet daring type of perfume. You guys, this perfume, whoa, this perfume, it's also very, 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 very strong. Such a powerful, long-lasting type of perfume. This is one of those perfumes that I do like to layer with the vanilla perfume or musk perfume because this is a beast, beast mode. This is also one of those dark, mysterious I want to say almost like black currant type of perfume. I don't know, you guys. This one is a little bit hard to describe because it's not like a sweet perfume. It's not like a spicy perfume. It's something in between, but it's one of those dark, mysterious, um, like I said, almost black currant type of perfume. I really, really like this. This is a sexy, sexy day night type of perfume and you will get about eight hours with this perfume especially if you overspray this one which is what i like doing and yeah i really really like this one so if i'm if i know i'm gonna go on a date night or if i know i'm gonna go on a sexy date night i like to put this one but i do like to layer this one with either vanilla or musk so yeah if you are into perfumes like that get this one this is a really great option for your perfume collection definitely a compliment getter and a beast mode and this one again is elixir 11 all right you guys moving on to the next one and at number five i have here everybody's favorite one kaoli's cult classic everybody always talks about this perfume raves about this perfume and i don't blame them but i have here vanilla 28 now i only have the travel size or the sample size because whenever I try to get the bigger bottle, it's sold out. It's either sold out or they have a new release coming out and I'd rather get the new release over this one. But I do want to get my hands on a bigger size for Vanilla 28 because, oh, you guys, this, this is how you do vanilla. This is such a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. It's so creamy. It's so vanilla-ish. It's so sweet. It's so sugary. This also kind of reminds me of like Vanilla Abstract. But if it was blended with something like a, like a vanilla cake, like you know when you're making vanilla cake or some type of cake and you put vanilla abstract, that's what this reminds me of. It's so, so freaking good. It's so delicious. And again, obviously my, my sample is almost running out. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. And anybody that's obsessed with sweet scents, if you've never tried this perfume, try it. You will not regret it and this one is also a beast mode you would get about five to seven hours depending on how much you spray definitely a beast mode definitely a compliment getter and definitely definitely worth getting the big bottle which is what i want to do as soon as i get a chance so yeah this is a beautiful scent and it's at number five and we have here vanilla 28 all right so moving on to number four and at number four i have here none other than the newest release and this one is young pistachio gelato 33 you guys when this perfume was first announced i think the whole perfume community went crazy we all went bananas we all really wanted to get it especially me i mean i did get it from mercari and i paid over 200 dollars because the thirst was real i wanted to get it before it was even released oh my god this is such a beautiful beautiful perfume so when i first did my review on this perfume i said that this perfume is 
different than what I was expecting. I was expecting something like sweet, like vanilla, sugary sweet. It is supposed to be a gourmand perfume. I, I, I don't personally, I don't get something gourmand. Gourmand to me means like uh, something sweet, delicious, something that I want to eat. Even though this is inspired by ice cream, pistachio ice cream, and gelato and stuff like that. To me, I get something a little bit more refreshing a little bit more it is still a little bit sweet but i feel like this is a little bit more like a clean fresh sweet type of scent it's definitely definitely worth getting full size bottle for sure and again this is one of those perfumes that i do like to layer with my other kale perfumes and yeah this is such a beautiful beautiful creamy type of perfume you guys so if you are into if you're looking for something fresh something clean yet sweet and creamy get this one this is definitely a standout from all of the other kale perfumes the dna on this one is completely completely different from all the other ones and for sure for sure for me i got about four to five hours depending on how many sprays i do and it's just a really really beautiful beautiful scent you guys i really like the way that the kale perfumes spray such a beautiful Ah, such a beautiful scent you guys definitely definitely worth getting the big bottle so if you haven't tried this i say get it because it's definitely worth getting especially if you are into like i said sweet perfumes clean fresh perfumes and even cotton candy this perfume has cotton candy and i do smell the cotton candy so if you are into stuff like that this one's for you and yeah this one's yum pistachio gelato 33 all right you guys we finally made it to my top three perfumes now these three perfumes are perfumes that i am obsessed with these perfumes i literally wear all the time and i am not exaggerating when i say all the time i just really really like these three perfumes you guys i like them so much that if mona was to discontinue any of them i will go on a strike because these perfumes can never be discontinued i have to have these perfumes for life so moving on at number three we have sweet diamond pink pepper 25 you guys this perfume stop it this perfume wow holy moly holy ravioli this perfume is so freaking good this perfume is so freaking elegant it's so good it's so creamy it's so sweet yet it's very very powdery this is definitely a powdery perfume when this perfume first came out i was a little bit scared about pink pepper because i don't like pink pepper in my perfumes or i don't like type any type of pepper in my perfumes because they can smell a little too outdated to spicy for my taste but no surprisingly i am obsessed with this perfume this is really really good this is oh it's just sweet it is a little bit spicy but it's not the nasty spicy i don't like spicy perfumes but i can deal with this type of spiciness it's just nice and sweet this one's also a beast mode i get about eight hours with maybe like five six sprays ah, i just <laughs> it's very very addicting to spray this perfume this one reminds me of like the vanilla perfume but with a hint of like spiciness or a hint of like oh i don't know something more mature something more sexy something more delicious something more creaminess and just powderiness i really really like that it's almost like smelling powder sugar vanilla powder sugar brown powder sugar it's almost kind of like that but it's also very sweet it's very like um uh, i don't know very candy-ish candy-licious it's the best that i can explain it but yeah this is a really really good perfume for sure this one is a compliment getter i've gotten so many compliments when i wear this perfume and it's just definitely top three in my k ali collection and this one is sweet diamond pink pepper 25 highly recommend this all right so we are down to top two and at number two i have none other than musk 12 you guys when i first smelled this perfume and i got it from the collection one when i first smelled this perfume i was so in love with this perfume i was intoxicated by this perfume this is one of those perfumes that i am obsessed i am obsessed and let me show you how obsessed i am i am in my second bottle because I finished my first one super, super fast. And that is like the biggest compliment that I can say about a perfume. If you have a perfume 
and you finish it and then you go and buy another one and then you buy another one and you just constantly keep buying it that's how you know you're obsessed that's how you know you're in love with the fragrance with the perfume with the scents and that's literally me with musk 12. i really really love this perfume it's so so good uh, i don't know it's just so feminine it's so amazing like every time i wear this perfume i feel so good i literally i can go on and on spraying this perfume it's just so so beautiful it's definitely musky oh it's just a nice buttery creamy uh sweet type of scent it's nice and floral but it's not a, like a crazy rose petals or fresh roses or anything like that it's just so so freaking elegant it's definitely a beautiful 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 perfume the only downfall about this perfume that i don't like is that it doesn't last it projects beautiful but i get about three hours max with like 10 sprays i mean i did finish this right away because i was like spraying every two three hours and i wish mona would reformulate this perfume to make it long last longer that would be a dream come true so mona if you're listening <laughs> make this make this a I don't know a beast more like the other ones because this is definitely a beautiful beautiful scent highly highly recommend this one you guys if you are into musky perfumes creamy buttery yet floral sweet perfumes get this one if you know the definition of musk this is the definition of musk and i absolutely absolutely love this one and this one is musk 12 highly 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 recommend this one all right so moving on to number one you guys it was really hard to pick between musk and this one to put at number one but i have to go with deja vu white flower 57 i never in a million years thought that i would be obsessed with a floral type of perfume because i do like gourmand perfumes i like sweet perfumes vanilla perfumes those are like top tier in my collection but this one you guys Oh, man this white floral i don't know how to explain it this is an elegant perfume this is a bougie perfume this is a you got money type of perfume this one is just so so pretty it's so elegant it's definitely a floral perfume but again this is not like roses or rose petals or fresh flowers there is something in this perfume that i can't point quite point out that makes it more than just a white flower. This is this one smells a little bit more like fresh, yet refreshing, sweet. And yes, it is floral, but oh, you guys, if you have musk and deja vu, put them together. Layer these two perfumes together. You will get compliments and compliments and compliments. I cannot tell you how many compliments I have gotten when I layer musk with deja vu. Those two is the perfect, the perfect combination. Or you can also layer deja vu with elixir. These two together, forget about it. And also I've been layering these two together, the young pistachio gelato with the deja vu white flower. These two together, you guys, if you don't have these, you're missing out you are missing out on these perfumes especially the deja vu white flower now i know a lot of people say that they are into like a lot of sweet perfumes if you are open-minded about different type of perfumes get this one because this one is just so so beautiful it's pretty it's elegant definitely a wedding type of perfume i just really really like this one it's like a everyday occasion type of perfume it's just so so good and i'm gonna put on some more because i really really like oh i really like this it's so so freaking good you guys and i gotta slow down because i'm already halfway to the bottle and i don't want to run out i don't want to run out but if i do definitely getting another bottle of this one for sure this is my most used perfume and this is my number one obsession in the kaoli line and i really 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 like this highly recommend this and this is deja vu white flower 57 you won't regret it okay oh my god you guys my count was completely completely <laughs> my count was completely off i still have one more which is actually my number one so deja vu was actually number two musk was number three and so on and so forth so i still have one more perfume and this is actually my number one most used perfume favorite perfume perfume that i cannot live without so 
yeah my count was a little bit off i don't know how i did not see that They're, these perfumes are literally in front of me but the last one that i have here on my list which is actually my number one perfume a perfume that i cannot live without it is utopia vanilla coco 21. you guys where do i even begin with this perfume this right here is heaven in a bottle perfection in a bottle this perfume is so oh my god i cannot live without this perfume i cannot live without this perfume and to be quite honest i don't have any more <laughs> i completely completely ran out and i have to go get a brand new fresh bottle so this one is the 1.7 fluid ounce i got this one when it was first released they never released the big bottle when it was first released and i was a little bit upset i was a little bit sad because i was like i need to get my hands on a bigger bottle and i still do because i ran out i don't have any more but you guys this is so freaking beautiful i don't know how they did this but if i can only have one perfume out of the whole entire kelly line it would be this one like this perfume is perfume for life and i should probably do top 10 perfumes for life this one's probably gonna be number one because i am obsessed obsessed with this perfume you guys this is definitely a coconut perfume it's very creamy it's sweet it's uh just uh delicious this definitely reminds me of like the ocean pina coladas it's just a really sweet soft creamy perfume i really like this for sure a compliment getter i've gotten so many so many compliments when i wore this perfume and this one lasts about anywhere between four to five hours with like 10 sprays i love overspraying this perfume and again musk with utopia vanilla coco is definitely the perfect combination or elixir with this one where do we go from here where do we go from here do things get better after this perfume no i don't think so this is for sure for sure my number one my number one perfume in the kaoli line and i can't live without this i cannot live without this perfume if they discontinue this perfume i will no longer support kaoli because that would be a crime that would be a shame to discontinue this so yeah you guys all fun and games but yeah this is definitely my favorite favorite kaoli perfume from all of them this is right here a 100 must get 100 recommended from me to you guys so if you haven't tried this and you like sweet coconutty creamy perfumes this is the one for you and again this is utopia vanilla coco 21 perfection heaven in a bottle all right you guys that is pretty much it for today's video that is pretty much it for today's review i hope you guys like my ranking i hope you guys enjoy my review and if you did please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content but i would like to know out of all of the kaoli perfumes that you have tried which one is your number one go to perfume if you're new to my channel hi my name is edgar O, and i am obsessed with everything in the fashion world especially perfumes so if that sounds like you stick around click that subscribe button click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload but all right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait to be gossip on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye